Hey crafty friends, thank you so much for joining us on the Altenew and Picket Fence Stamp Wheel video hop. I am Amy Hill of Amy Hill Creates and I have two great projects for you. And I'm starting off with a alcohol inked background and I'm using the Picket Fence Jack-O-Lanterns stamp. I am putting this stamp on a piece of Upo paper and Upo paper is a plastic paper. It's not really paper per se. I am stamping on this with Altenew Obsidian ink and thank goodness for the stamp wheel. This is a really big stamp. There's a lot of images and I probably stamp this about four to five times using that Obsidian ink in order to get that nice clear image. Now it's a little tricky, but what I wanted to do with this image was actually to clear emboss over it. You have to be really careful because this is not paper. You have to keep your heat tool moving, but it will do this. And I did it because I wanted to add some alcohol ink. And I'm using the alcohol ink from Altenew in the Martian Terrain collection. So you can see I have pastel sunrise, I have canyon clay, burnt red, and I also am adding in a little bit of fresh lemon. Since the clear embossing is over the image, that image will stay nice and crisp. I realized after doing this that the embossing did start to flake off a little bit, so just be very careful if you do this. If I had to do this over again, I would have kept my image in the stamp wheel so I could re-stamp it in black again in order to get that nice crisp color. But you can see here with all of those alcohol inks, you get this vibrant, vibrant background that I thought was perfect match with the jack-o'-lantern stamp from Picket Fence Studios. So I'm gonna chop this down and this is a four by four stamp and I probably cut it to about just under four inches square and I need to mount it on a background. So you can see I have a piece of vellum that I have torn the edges and I'm adding some enchanted gold ink and I'm just putting splatters on a black A2 top folding card. I did wait for the paint splatter to dry before I added some Altenew Ultra Sticky Adhesive to the back of the jack-o'-lantern panel and then to the back of the vellum panel. And then I adhered both to my top folding card. Just love the nice bright colors. This is such a great card. I wasn't really sure about where to put a sentiment, so I just left it off. For my second project, I'm inking up a panel with Pastel Sunrise, which is the lightest color from the Martian Terrain collection. I'm trying to get a look where it's darker at the top and the bottom and the middle is lighter. And I'm using the large blending tool from Altenew to get a lot of coverage in a shorter period of time. So I'm coming in with Canyon Clay and in the next shot you're going to see that I've also gone in with burnt red and a little bit of mahogany bark which really shows that difference in color from the top, the bottom, and the middle. This stamp set, Autumn Has Arrived, I am inking up with embossing ink, and I am stamping this. You notice that I did it on the bottom, and then all I have to do is just flip the plate over because the stamp wheel allows you to, to do that. And I'm treating this with antique gold embossing powder on both sides. You can just see that image really shine. Originally I was going to use this background for the jack-o'-lantern panel, but I decided that this was just a really nice card on its own. And really all it needed was a piece of vellum, which I originally inked up in an ombre with the Martian Terrain collection, but I decided to change it to black and ink this up with obsidian ink and then I embossed it with clear embossing powder. I like doing black and clear embossing powder over vellum because it really helps that ink to set as well as add 
extra shine. Just have to be careful with the vellum and go very quickly as that powder will melt quickly on the vellum. After I heat this up, you'll see that the panel is just too big, obviously, for the card. So what I've done is I've cut that down so it will be a belly band, and then I use a tearing tool in order to just tear off the edges just to give it a little bit of an organic look. And I just wrap that around the side and put that on a black card base. And there is our finished proje project. Thank you so much for joining us on the hop today. Please be certain to check out all of the great designers videos. And I hope that you have a fabulous day.